Good morning and welcome to Tuesday Morning Prayer. And it's wonderful to have you come and join me. And I see that our dear sister Jan has joined us. So if you have a candle handy, would you like to light it with ours and together release the light of God's love out into the world from where we are? We light this light to commemorate our love of God and God's love for us, their children. We come into the landscape of God, which is the Cathedral of God, and we embrace our beloved Earth Mother and all the nature spirits, the Tree Divas and Elementals, together with the angelic realm, the messengers of God, with the holy men and women of all faiths. And we say, welcome to this table, and let us allow the divine spark touch our hearts this new day. Amen. And coming to our Tuesday morning prologue of our brother and sister scenes, we read, we enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly Father, Mother God, the earthly mother and all the great masters and reverence to the holy, pure and saving teaching, and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. Tuesday morning we commune with the angel of joy, saying, angel of joy, descend upon earth and give beauty to all beings. You then reflect and feel yourself absorbing vibrations of joy from the beauties of nature as you contemplate the colors of sunrise and sunset, the song of a bird, the aroma of flowers. So let us be still in this cathedral of God and just take a deep breath and just sense the peace, the love and the joy and the sound of a bell. And this morning we dedicate our morning prayer for you and for all our friends on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Google, for the many friends that support the work of our community and for those who've asked for prayer, too many to mention, we bring everyone here this morning and we say, Father, Mother, God, thank you. Thank you for the gift of genuine friends. Friends who walk beside you in the good times and the bad times, the testing times and the happy times. And I'm guided to read an opening prayer from this book of favourite prayers chosen by people from all walks of life. Come Holy Dove by David Adam. When I feel alone, your presence is ever with me. Come, holy dove, cover with love. When I feel weak, your strength will seek me. Come, holy dove, cover with love. Spirit be about my head. Spirit peace around me shed. Spirit light about my way. Spirit guardian night and day. Come, holy dove, cover me with love. Isn't that an awesome prayer? Come, Holy Dove. And we've got ten in the back, and I just get mesmerized watching them doing the little routine, especially the male doves doing the little dance to attract the females. Oh, it's a joy to watch. It truly is a joy. And now we come to our first reading, and it's for Praying Out Loud by Annie Forrester. knitted together by music, and I think this will resonate with our dear Jan, who's joined us. Being members of the human race, of the family of woman and man, and longing for better family relations, we have gathered as one this morning, having eyes of knowledge that can no longer not see the good and evil that surrounds us. 
we have gathered as one this morning, knit together by so many strands of music from so many different religious and ethnic communities, their rhythmic measures still stirring our souls, we have gathered as one this morning. Inspired by words from the lips of five remarkable young people, moved by giving messages that are far more honest and direct than many of those uttered by people two or three or four or even five times these students' ages, we have gathered as one this morning. In the name of all that is within us, that can dream a better world, and all that is within us that can help shape such a home. We have gathered as one today. Thanks be for this gathering. And that's from Beth Graham, First Harmony Concert of Anti-Bias Task Force. Mmm, that was good. So we'll put Beth to sleep for now and we'll come to Sam's now by Leslie Brandt, Psalm 63. Like a thirsty child reaching for a drink, I gasp for you, O God, and I have found you. I have sensed your holy presence in the worship service and in the hour of prayer. I have felt you to be near. I realize now that your love for me is far better than life itself. My heart is full of joy and contentment. My mouth is filled with praises for you. Even the night hours are no longer lonely as I contemplate your tender concern for me. The enemies of my soul still seek to betray me but they shall not snatch me out of your hand. And now that I have found you, I shall be secure and happy forever. Wow, isn't that, isn't that beautiful? I shall be secure and happy forever. I mean, where do you go with that? Absolutely gorgeous. And now I want to dedicate this to you, and it's Yahweh is the God of my salvation by Marilla. Trust in him and have no 
Indeed, Yahweh is the God of our salvation. And I've just been guided to read from the Celtic prayer book from the Northumbria community on Lindisfarne. And there's a reading for today, the 7th of Feb. Every hour a kingdom, every hour a kingdom is coming in your heart, in your home, in the world near you, be it a kingdom of darkness, or a kingdom of light. The Bible does not say that everybody who is not a Christian is a notorious sinner, but it says that the one who lives outside that is wasting their life, they may not be doing wrong, but their life is lost. There is no such thing in the world as a great sin, but there is no such thing as a small sin. The smallest sin is a fall, and a fall is a fall from God. And to fall from God is to fall from the greatest height in the universe. And that's by Henry Drummond, a mirror set at the right angle. There you go. And now we come to these little prayers, beautiful little prayers, of comfort and healing from many faiths. And the heading for today is God loves us. And ever there was a time many need to hear those words, it must be today, because the amount of people who email me where they're facing horrendous challenges, quite a lot of deaths and bereavements of loved ones, young, very young and old, and many of the children of God are being stretched, really stretched and tested. But when I opened this and it said, God loves us, that gives me an assurance that I'm not alone, that God is indeed with us. In Christianity, we read, God is love. And from the Baha'i faith we read, O Son of Man, veiled in my immemorial being and in the ancient eternity of my essence, I knew my love for thee, therefore I created thee, have engraved on thee mine image and revealed to thee my beauty. O Son of Man, I loved thy creation, hence I created thee. 
Wherefore do thou love me, that I may name thy name, and fill thy soul with the spirit of life. And from our brother and sister Sikhs we read, The Lord God is my friend and companion. God shall be my helper and support in the end. And from our brother and sister Hindus we read, <clears throat> I am alike for all, I know not hate, I know not favour, what is made is mine. But them that worship me with love, I love, and they are in me, and I in them. Take my last word, my utmost meaning have. Precious thou art to me, right well beloved. Listen, I tell thee for thy comfort this. Give me thy heart, adore me, serve me. Cling in faith and love, and reverence to me, so shalt thou come to me. I promise true, for thou art sweet to me. And from Islam, the Lord and cherisher of the worlds, who created me, and it is he who guides me, who gives me food and drink. And when I am ill, it is he who cures me. Who will cause me to die and then to live again? And who, I hope, will forgive me my faults on the day of judgment? And from our brother and sister Jews we read, The Lord is gracious, and the Lord is full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all, and his tender mercies are over all his works. And from our brother Bud and sister Buddhists we read, The virtuous find joy in this world, and they find joy in the next. They find joy in both. They find joy and are glad when they see the good they have done. So there's a compilation of prayers of how God loves us. So we come to our morning intercessions. So let us just be still and know that we are in the presence of God and that our God truly cares for us, their children. So let us now bring to God everything and anything, anyone and everyone that we may be concerned about today. If we have personal issues, let's name them, let's bless them and release them to God in a mindset of gratitude and just say thank you and leave them with God. Don't keep taking them back. Leave them with God. This morning I would like to bring each one of you, our dear Jan and those who've not logged in, together with all our friends on LinkedIn, Twitter, Facebook and Google, the many friends who support the vision of Francis and Jesus given to our hearts in April 2008, to not only embrace all faiths but to welcome all faiths into our interfaith community. We thank God for the courage and the fresh outpouring of the Holy Spirit, especially for those times when the foundation was being shaken by other people's unkindness and lack of forgiveness. So we pray this morning for the many on our prayer lists and with Jan for world peace and all who need healing. We pray today for the members of our community who are struggling with depression. We pray for those who find it hard to forgive those who've wronged them. 
but who wallow, who are wallowing in that negative mindset of getting their own back. We pray for them. For the children of God of all faiths who are hurting in mind, in body and spirit. And for man's inhumanity to mankind, we pray for those who perpetrate violence at grassroot level. <coughs> Excuse me, for those mighty superpowers who refuse to learn their lessons and to go on punishing the children of God. We pray for the 12, 14 members of the Baha'i faith still imprisoned in Iraq because of being members of the Baha'i community. We pray for the Shiite and Sunni Muslims in Syria and in the Western world where they are actually tearing one another, in the Eastern world where they're tearing one another apart and yet they believe in Allah. They pray to Allah, but yet killing one another like the Christians were in Northern Ireland, Catholic and Protestant. We pray for peace there. We pray for our refugees and our migrants who are desperate to get away from the war, war zones. We pray for our brother and sister Christians in Cairo, in Egypt. And we pray for all those who embrace fundamentalism, be it Islam, be it Judaism, or be it Christian, that they come before their maker and have the courage to ask, where do I need help today? I pray for my dear brother Shay. No news is good news, they say. I'm just waiting for an update now from Dublin. But I pray he survived his op yesterday, where he was having his leg off that had no blood supply, caused by nipping the artery in removing the tumour that had wrapped around the artery. I pray for Shay, and I pray that God's will will be manifest for my brother, for his wife Anne, for his children and grandchildren. But I pray for my own brothers and sisters who are also in mourning for their brother. He's only 61, but we pray for him and that God's will will be done. We pray and we thank you, Jan, for all the many people who are praying for Shay. There are so many good people that I've never met, that I've never known, who are remembering him in prayer. So the good that's come out of poor Shay's situation with cancer is that he's touched many hearts to pray for him. And that's got to be a plus. But we pray for this beautiful world where many have lost sight of their own divinity as a child of God, where many are despiritualized, where they've made materialism, greed and selfishness the new God on the block. We pray for interspiritual unity, that all faiths can come together and love one another. And of course, for global peace. So bringing all our requests and intentions and all the religious leaders of the world to come together in love with all the politicians and heads of state. We bring them all to this table and we call on the cosmic Christ to zap each one of us and to give us a new mindset, a mindset of hope, a mindset of joy, a mindset of peace. And now we say the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, Mother God, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give to each one of us here today our daily bread. Forgive us our foibles, our indiscretions, our selfishness. Forgive us for the times when you spoke to us and we willfully walked away through fear. Forgive us for the times when we failed in thought, word or deed against charity. 
Lead us not astray, O Lord, but deliver us and protect us from those negative forces and the forces of evil that alienate us from your love. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory forever and ever. Amen. And from the little book of Celtic prayers we read, bear with me. God before us, God behind us, God above us, God beneath us. We on your path, O God, you on our way. In the twistings of the road, in the currents of the river, be with us by day, be with us by night, be with us by day and by night. As I come to blow out the flame, I call on our Earth Mother, Gaia, I call on Mother Mary, and all the great ascended masters, both male and female. And I invite them now to touch your heart and fill it with the peace, the love, and the joy of the risen cosmic Christ. Amen. Go in peace to love and to serve our God. Namaste, shalom, inshallah. Pax et bonum, om shanti, solo di caritas. Salam alaikum, and may the peace of all that is sacred to you reawaken in your heart that you are a temple of God, a temple of joy, a temple of love, a temple of peace. If this is your bedtime, sleep well. If not, have a wonderful day. Till we meet again, peace.